All right, everyone, to watch this video for uh, July 1st, Monday, July 1st, it's worth noting, July 4th week, right? So the market's going to be closed on Thursday. It's actually closing at 1 o'clock, I believe, double check that, on Wednesday. So it's going to be really dead Wednesday, in my opinion, obviously closed on Thursday, probably dead on Friday with a full day sandwiched between a holiday and a weekend. Um, I don't think there's going to be a lot of participants. And Monday and Tuesday, probably our best chances for some nice trades, all right? Um, showing you the SPY here. Again, just low volume summer trading. Real quick, I'm gonna slide a few over. Wayne from uh, Friday, MLNT, called it very simple over the two day high right there. You can see the results. And the point of these that Wayne called, all three of these, is that there's nothing tricky about them. Day trading doesn't have to be tricky. CDMO, just a gap up, so it was on our gap playlist very tight opening range he just called it over the opening range and look at that thing never looked back huge move and adpt um ipo the day before so ipo on thursday um a lot of times these recent ipos just magically um become whole number inflection point traders and that is exactly what happened here topped out at 43 bucks even to the number early wayne called it through 43 right there and it really never looked back and almost went to 49, I think. I mean, just a, a, three great calls by Wayne and nothing confusing or complicated about any of them. So what are we watching for Monday? CDMO goes back on watch. That's one of those Wayne calls from Friday. Uh, pretty strong close. It looks like it topped out right at 601. Definitely want to see if we get a red to green or something like that as a follow through. I'm going to see if there's any um, China, low priced China stock theme. I'm not sure what's come out of the G20, but if anything positive comes out, um, this is CIFS, had a nice run and then it's kind of flagging here, holding the 20 day. So I think that one's interesting. Again, that's only if a China theme develops. Um, MLNT, another one of Wayne's calls from Friday, actually looking pretty good on the daily. Had this big pop, two day high after the big pop was 760 kind of going flagging since then and starting to curl up. Uh, 200 day could be a target also. So that one's interesting. Overstock, inside day that topped out right around that whole number 14. This one's interesting over Friday's high um, on Monday, we'll see. CETX, massive move on Thursday, then quiet inside day on Friday. It's worth noting that it, it closed, you know, in the I would say in the bottom half of Thursday's range it makes me like it a little bit less but I still think it's worth watching this one's whoops this one's kind of obscure D Mac D M A C gapped up uh, I don't know a week and a half ago has been just going sideways ever since usually these gaps fail and they just fill the gap and you never see them again or not for six months but this one's actually holding up pretty well so I want to keep an eye on this D Mac A Q B uh, nice pop here and really kind of flagging and turned up a little bit on Friday. Um, let's keep our eyes on that one. RTTR uh, had a high back here in March of 135. You guys know I love stacked catalyst. In uh, May it hit 117. Whoops. And then last week it hit 114. So you kind of have from May to last week, you kind of have a little cup and handle going on. Uh, I like this over the handle, over 114. It might go boom, boom, and knock down these two dominoes. So let's keep our eyes on RTTR. CRMD, nice volume breakout on Friday. We're gonna see if we get a follow through day on Monday. Uh, PAYS had a recent high from what, about two weeks ago? Uh, 1363, and it's kind of flagging and starting to break to the upside. Pretty nice volume on Friday as well. And then lastly, KTOS, kind of uh, flat top, possible flat top breakout over 23 bucks this week. So I wanna keep that one on watch as well. Again, low volume week expected, but I also think we're gonna find some good trades this week. All right, I'm done babbling. We'll see everybody on Monday.